Hey guys, this is Anton again back with another video. And today I got the Moto E3 as I have promised in my Redmi 3S uh, video that I'll get this uh, phone in my home. And uh, not only one, uh, I was very excited uh, for the offers. So I get two of these. Uh, this is the Moto E3. Uh, I'm going to give this one to my dad. So that's putting it aside. And as you can see, I got it from Flipkart. Yesterday, Flipkart delivered to my home and uh, let me give you the physical, uh, sorry, uh, the specification overview very quickly. It's very simple. It has a 5 inch uh, HD display that is a 720p display. It has a quad core MediaTek processor. It has 16 gigabyte of internal storage and a 2 gigabyte of memory that is RAM and 3500 image battery which is one of the selling point of this phone also this phone has a nano coating so you know guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a water test of this phone uh, as I have done with Moto G4 plus and it got viral like crazy so hopefully this time also it will viral and it has a 8 megapixel back camera very simple basic camera it shouldn't be so cool or so nice in terms of uh, camera quality in terms of video quality it cannot even shoot a 720p video also it just can shoot uh sorry sorry it, it, it can shoot 720p but it cannot shoot for full hd video uh it has a connectivity of a dual sim uh, both the sim support support g lte and also volte voice over lte and also it has a micro sd card dedicated and also i got a uh, sandrix 32 gb uh, class 10 memory card free with this phone and uh, I got another uh, 32 gig memory card for, for the other one phone so it's a good deal and I also got the SBI 800 rupees off also on the uh, launching day so it has Android Marshmallow built in and uh, and nothing else so it says Lenovo over here Motorola over here so let's peel this uh, uh, seal off and let me show you the phone and as you can see the phone is uh, upside down in the box so this is the phone and uh, very very light i have to say uh, it's one of the lightest phone i'm holding right now uh, i don't know about the weight let's see can i find okay uh, the sar value is uh, for the head it is 0.82 and for the body is 1.28 so it's uh, under the limit and uh, the mrp coded on the box is seven triple nine that is the price uh, which is selling currently on uh, flipkart it's flipkart exclusive so let me put this phone aside and let's see what else do we get so first thing we get is uh headphones that is very basic headphones uh though i'll show it to you these are the headphones we are getting from the moto g first generation uh from back in the days three years ago and they are nice but not good for listening to music but it's good for phone call it has a dedicated button to take or end calls motorola logo and a microphone built in and the 3.5m headphone jack is straight so this is the cable so i don't think it's a very high quality cable but it should get the job done let's see so yeah this is the cable itself as you can see very thick quality cable very thick but the connectors are looking very cheap as they are from china uh, previously i got a very nice quality cable with the moto g4 plus this is not the same cable it's a very uh, cheap one it's not motorola branded i don't know why didn't they put a motorola branded cable whatever maybe cost cutting measurements and this is the motorola branded power adapter uh, at least this one is Motorola branded and I today I don't bring my knife with me so I might have to cut or tear this up so it's a sealed packet okay, I got this so this is the matte finish charger very nice feeling charger by the way and the port is uh, vertical over here it says Motorola logo uh, and the rating is 5.2 volt 2.0 ampere that is kind of 2 ampere charger but a little bit more it's 2 power 10.2 uh, watts so uh, motorola says that it's a uh, fast charging so let's see how uh, fast it can charge the phone 
And the literature is uh, Motorola Limited Warranty Guide, README Guide in English. And you can read it if you are new to the Android ecosystem. This is the safe and smart protected guide and I don't have to worry about that. So this is the removable battery. This is the second time Motorola is putting a removable battery actually after the Moto G4 Play. And it's a very interesting thing to see because all of the companies are now moving ahead to the sealed battery which is much more efficient, much more uh, protected by the environment. So they are putting a, uh, a removable battery and the battery rating is uh, 3500 mAh battery, the 3.8 volt battery over here, lithium ion polymer battery. And for the first time again, Motorola is uh, putting a screen guard, dedicated screen guard into the box, though it's a very cheap quality uh, screen guard. I'm not going to put this cheap uh, quality screen guard on my phone. Says 100% virgin above 551 micron. So uh, it's Motorola branded though, but I'm not going to put this. So I'll put this uh, these things into the box because uh, I'm putting the box aside. And this is the sticker. It says 5 inch HD display, 3500 mAh battery, and 8 plus 5 megapixel camera, 16 GB ROM, and 2 GB RAM, quad core processor that is a MediaTek processor. And that's also a first time for Motorola. And a lot of things is first time here for Motorola that is uh, a MediaTek processor, a removable battery, and a screen guard in the box. It has two SIM card slots. So let me peel the sticker out and uh, let me open up the back cover and from the beginning i can notice there is some marks on the side of the phone i don't know if it is permanent or it's uh, it's can be cleanable but uh, there is some marks maybe some oh let, let me also open up this uh, sandix memory card thing because it has only 16 gigabyte of uh, storage and I got one for free so why don't we put a memory card inside this uh, phone it's a good idea so let's see so it's a very tricky thing to do okay I got this so here we have the memory card so let's put it inside this phone and also put the battery here and it's a nano coated phone so it's water splash resistant so you should uh, cover up the whole back cover very carefully and uh, let me boot this up by holding the power button and by the time it boots uh, let me give you the physical overview first so on the back side it has an 8 megapixel camera and a very large single LED flash Motorola dimple but the dimple is not that uh, you know deep it's very shallow. It has a secondary microphone over here and the back cover has a very fine texture on the bottom. It has a micro USB port for charging and data syncing and a notch for opening the back cover on the left side is clean there is nothing on the top there is a 3.5mm headphone jack on the right side there is a power button which is ridged and a volume rocker which is not ridged. On the front there is a 5 megapixel front facing camera earpiece and some sensors on the bottom there is a speaker or uh, the speaker phone so let me uh, you know uh, connect to all of this thing and uh, show it to you I'll connect my Wi-Fi later and everything else later uh, as if now I'm going to just I'm not going to put any name so I'm skipping every step and I'm going to show you the display how the display looks like and uh, so here is the display and i have uh, went actually increase the brightness so let me go to the settings first and uh, let's see can we increase the brightness a little bit okay it says uh, this uh, memory card is uh, inserted so hopefully you can see the screen uh, now now go to the about phone it has the android 6.0 marshmallow not 6.0.1 but still it's marshmallow so we shouldn't complain but the security patch is uh very old it's june 1 i don't know maybe they push the new security update soon and uh, go to the storage as you can see it has 16 megabyte of internal storage 
by which 4.38 gigabyte is already used and 11.96 gigabyte is free and on that 32 gig memory card it has a 28.9 there is 29 gb free so it's plenty of storage let me change it to the another wallpaper which is a little more vibrant this is the moro g4 plus wallpaper so let me set it to this uh, wallpaper and uh, as of now it's looking very smooth let's see how the camera is so let me put a object over here and here in my home it's pretty much a good lit condition so let's take a photograph over here let's uh, take a hdr also so hdr uh, take a lot of time to save the photographs unlike the moro g4 plus so this is the photo with with hdr this is with hdr and the detailing are not that crisp it's good but not not up to the mark this one is without the hdr without the hdr is a little bit better i would say uh, and uh, the colors are not that sharp but it's not bad uh, for a 8000 rupees phone which has a really large battery a good quality uh, this uh, display i would say dual sim 4g and uh, motorola brand nano coating so it's not bad i'll definitely compare this with my uh, redmi 3s which i have i'll do speed test on that and uh, i'll do water test scratch test bend test on this phone as well so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the link uh, on the red button in my channel to up to date with those videos so i'll hope to see you in my next video bye bye guys